Uh, welcome to this tutorial on preparing the question bank for your Moodle course. Let us see that with respect to your sample course named uh, course, which I have created in my Moodle page. First of all, we need to log in to get landed into our personal dashboard. Once you have logged in, you will find the course in which you are a teacher. Here we will be creating the question bank for our course named course. Click the course. In the left side, you can find the menu pertaining to your course. Scroll down to the question bank. Click it, you can find a number of options like constraints, categories, import, export. If your constraints contain just text alone, then you can use the icon format which could be imported directly into this particular page. So the uh, icon format is very simple, a question followed by the choices and the right answer that follows the choice. Let us see a demonstration for uploading a question using icon format. Now go to notepad. First of all you type the question. This is a question followed by the choices. Please take care, there should be the options or the choices followed by a full stop which is followed by a space and your answer one. See the next one, answer two. See, answer three. D answer 4 and the right answer would be say the choice C so it must be noted that this doesn't contain any single quote or hyphens or any special characters. The icon format is especially meant for pure text questions. However, your answers can contain hyphens or commas, etc. No. And please take care of the spaces between this part and especially this. Uh, answer a colon followed by a space and the right answer. For example, if you want the next question to be typed, you can just type it as what is the square of 2? A, 3, B, 4, C, 5, D, 6. And the answer B. And please take care, these choices and the answer are case sensitive. No lower case shall be considered to be a choice or the option for answer. Now save it as. A text file. The text file is found in the desktop. Now you can just drag it 
and drop it here and click import now it will be showing you the questions and now you can name the questions will be added to your question pack let us see the first question for you the choices may have been shuffled but you can check the correctness of the answers we had given the choice C as the correct answer and it is now in choice D so it is opted as the correct answer and this could be checked with the second question also but however when your question contains a circuit diagram for people who are working with electronics and electrical engineering they have a number of circuit diagrams so in that case you can just take a snapshot paste it in paint and save it as a png file Now go on with create a new question. This question name can be zero zero one. So you need to insert a figure, browse the repository, go to upload a file, browse it, we have saved it as circuit.png. And this could be saved uh, in the same way. So now you get the file, save the image, there must be a description, otherwise it will show your error message. And the circuit is inserted as your question. Now you can give the choices if it is a wrong choice you can grade it as none and if it is a right choice you can grade it as 100% and just save the changes Now you can preview this question.
get by the circuit and here with the right answer some choice where we had given the hundred percent let's say and if your question involves uh, mathematical equations you can go on with the same technique or some other technique where you can use a text editor which is inbuilt in your model page so a text editor by default will not be visible in most cases unless it is enabled by the administrator to be so so this is the equation editor in Moodle which follows the lattice form for documentation you can just click over this and you can you will be directly moving towards the tutorial for text notations where you can find a number of things which are mathematically connected for example you can just have this and you can find the preview here say the equation the right choices say 6 9 Now you just have a preview of the question. You can find what you have given and fill in with the correct answer to just verify the answer. That's all.